So what is uh, our transformation, our mapping, our so-called operator? Transformation, uh, to understand it, let's consider two vector spaces. You are now well familiar with vector spaces. Vector spaces are sets which, define, which uh, uh, satisfy a few properties called axioms. So a transformation is a rule that assigns to each vector x in this space, another vector y in this space. Here, this word vector, what does that mean? Vector is an object in that space. It has not to be necessarily the column vector or the row vector. Uh, so it is an object which belongs to that particular space. So transformation is a rule which assigns to each vector x in this space another vector y in the other space. Uh, for example, here is our transformation. Uh, here is our transformation. What has it done? Uh, there was a vector x which belonged to uh, a space x. In this case, uh, what is x? That is, what is this capital X in this case? R4. So here, x in this particular case is R4. And here, this small x, which is this vector, uh, this belongs to this space x. And this transformation has assigned to this vector another vector y. And this vector belongs to, what is y? y is R2. So this is a transformation. Transformation is a rule which assigns to each vector x in other vector y in another space. So that is called transformation or mapping. Here these vectors, these are not necessarily to be the column vectors and row vectors. A transformation is generally represented in this form. y is equal to f of x, this vector, this vector is called image, image of x under that particular transformation. This vector y is called image of this vector x under this transformation f. So this vector x belongs to space x and this space, vector space, is called domain. And this space, y, this y is called range. For example, in this particular transformation, what was domain and what was range? Domain was R4 and range was R2. A transformation uh, is linear if it satisfies two properties. Uh, what are those properties? Superposition and homogeneity. That is, if uh, we have two vectors, v and another vector, uh, one vector v and another vector x, then this transformation, that is equal to f, v, f of v, plus f of x, where v and x are two vectors which belong to the domain. This is the first property. The second property is that f of c multiplied by x, where c is a scalar, that is the same as c multiplied by f of x. If any transformation our mapping satisfies these two properties, that transformation is called a linear transformation, a linear mapping. So uh, here is a transformation f of x given by, so find image of these vectors under this transformation. Here is a vector, find image of vector under this transformation f where f 
is give f is given by this relation so please find the image of this vector under that particular transformation that is simple you have to simply uh, multiply this thing this matrix with this vector so this is this vector is an image of this vector under this transformation so some uh, transformations uh, may have a physical interpretation as well for example uh, this transformation this produces a rotation in that vector for example here we had a vector 4 1 uh, what is the space which uh, for which this uh, vector belongs to r2 this vector belongs to r2 which is sketched over here and this vector is 4 1 so this is a vector and uh, its image under this transformation is minus 1 4 which is over here what has this transformation done to this vector it has rotated it by some particular angle so here is another vector v find its image under the same transformation here is another uh, vector so its image under this transformation can also be found uh, what the uh, what is that uh, minus minus 3 and 2 and uh, furthermore find the image of this vector u plus v which is 6 plus 4 what is image of this vector under this transformation minus 4 and 6 so is this property satisfied for this transformation or not so this uh, minus uh, 1 plus minus 3 is minus 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so f of v plus f of x where v and x are two vectors here u and v so if we apply their sum uh, that is uh, this property is satisfied similarly you can also verify that this property is also satisfied for this transformation hence this transformation is a linear transformation so a transformation linear transformation of space rn into space rm can be described by matrix always uh, that is here this x is a vector which belongs to the space x which in this case is uh, n dimensional space and uh, which is rn in this case and y belongs to a space capital y which in this case is rm so the linear transformation of this vector x into a vector into this space y that can always be described by the matrix uh, what sh uh, should be the size of that matrix the size of this matrix so that is m cross n so this the transformation from space rn into space rm can be described by a matrix of size m by n here is an example we have this matrix a given by so we want to find an image of this vector uh, used under this transformation image of this vector under this trans what is this transformation what is uh, domain and range of this this uh, uh, so it maps a vector it maps a vector we say maps a vector uh, which belongs to r2 into r3 so please find the image of this vector 
under this transformation. So this vector is an image of this vector under this transformation. Now do this thing. Uh, we have this transformation T of x is equal to A multiplied by this vector x. So we want to find a vector x uh, whose image under this transformation is this one. How we shall do that? So please do that. A is this matrix. A is this matrix and the transformation is defined by this, uh, uh, this expression A multiplied by X. So we want to find a vector X uh, which belongs to this uh, domain space whose image under this transformation is this vector. That is we want to find an X such that this equation is satisfied and you already remember the procedure to solve this equation that is you shall you will construct this uh, augmented matrix and reduce it into echelon form by performing elementary row operations so have you performed uh, these row operations so uh, with me it is uh, this one uh, the final echelon form again this echelon form is not unique and uh, then uh, this uh, thing uh, to the second component of this vector so 2x1 is equal to minus 1 where x1 is the first component of this vector x and this implies that x is equal to x1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 and then from sorry this is x2 and from the first row we have x1 plus 3 by 2 is equal to 3 so here is the x determine if this vector is in the range of that particular transformation nahi araha so the you have solved this thing uh, ax is equal to this vector so there is no vector which maps to this vector therefore this vector is not in the range of this uh, transformation that is not in the range of transformation so we shall continue this discussion in the next lecture as well